Doomer news. More Doomer news. Everything is ending. Anime is over. Manga is over. Corporations are taking over. No, this is actually different though. End of anime and manga leaks. We were talking about manga leakers. JJK leakers. Kaburachi leaks. Then we're like, okay, we'll stop doing that. Is there a follow-up? Give it to me, Chibi. You remember the leaks that happened a few months back where like Dawn to Dawn's first few episodes were leaked, or the entirety of Rama one half was leaked, and even the Plankton movie and parts of Arcane Season yep. 2? Well, that very leaker actually did an interview and talked about why he did it, how he did it, and all They did an interview? That, and I'll cover this interview in just a second. But before we get into that, we need to talk about the updated news that came out in the last 20 or so hours, and that is Netflix subpoenas Discord in, Ooh. in investigation of post production partner leaks. Now, Ooh, they got Twitter before, and now they got Discord. To get everybody on the same page, if this is your first time hearing it, which I doubt, but just in case this is your first time hearing it, back earlier this year in August, you had a bunch of anime that got leaked out. Free Zero Season, you know, 3 Episode 1, Dawn to Dawn's first 3 or so episodes, the entirety of Rama 1 Half's, you know, first season of its remake, you know, I think 6 episodes, 4 to 6 episodes of Arcane Season 2 was leaked, we had an entire anime movie that was leaked, Heartstoppers was leaked, which was a live action show, there was a bunch of stuff, a lot of projects and stuff that was leaked here and there, and obviously when you look at just the vast amount of leaks that's going to lead to a lot of legal trouble and it's definitely going to cause a lot of companies that work with netflix to um not want to work with netflix going forward but netflix gotta get serious right suddenly they got their pants down and they got caught with their pants down what are you gonna do about it shit subpoena discord figure out these group chats where these leaks could have happened because it's about trust and you know when these companies you know give their product over to let's say netflix to house them to either dub them or translate them or whatever there is trust placed in another company and if that company is not able to uphold protection of those said products well those companies might not want to work with netflix going forward and so the overall effects the damage that netflix potentially got from the whole situation is still left to really be seen because there could be a lot of parts also, this right over here, why is Sony offering to buy Katakawa? Why does Sony want Katakawa in the first? <laughs> this gotta be the fucking dumbest fucking title, but maybe again, there's a wide audience that doesn't understand. Money! Money! Having control of everything! So that I, you can fucking filter everything and censor it. it money! Control! It's that easy! Partners that they work with that uh, pull out and never want to work with them again, Thanks to this situation. Now, there is a lot to really look at here, so let's get right into it. So, basically, one of the big reasons why this could have damaged Netflix and all that is because a bunch of these shows like Ranma, Arcane, Dawn to Dawn, etc., were leaked early. Now, the quality of this footage and stuff was pretty low. It was like 360p or whatever. It was not good quality footage whatsoever. Some, like, random dude going into a movie theater film, you know, recording the film with his, like, shitty phone, cam quality, then uploading it. Yeah, it's, it's that kind of quality. However, I didn't watch full-length episodes that were leaked out. I saw clips that was just against my will, so to speak, I saw online. But the point of the matter is, is that the quality of the leaks were relatively low. They were not good quality whatsoever, but it still was full episodes out for the general public that started from 4chan and eventually navigated onto the platform of Twitter and other places around the internet. And it Discord. started, you know, getting viral and a lot of people watched those certain episodes, etc. And so you could clearly see the damage because... And a series was leaked out not just like a few weeks, a few days, but months, like up to three months earlier than it was actually supposed to release. So you can see the damage. When people watch a product very early, they might not want to watch it officially anymore. So you can see the damages that that potentially caused to Netflix. Now, I'm not here going to say protect the big company. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, we're not bootlicking here. We're not protecting the corpo. This is just the logic. It's just objective reasoning of if you leak these episodes in advance when they were going to have huge premieres what do you think is going to happen to their viewership when it actually launches it's probably going to cannibalize itself because the people that were going to watch it when it got released might have already watched the leaks therefore money goes down you know yada yada all i'm saying is, is i'm just giving out the general facts of what it could have done to netflix but even if we want to disregard the potential revenue loss of like oh you know they're not going to have people want to watch those shows on their platform because they've already seen it like I said already, it comes down to trust as well. It's like, 
a bunch of these companies that potentially have now taken damages thanks to their products like Ronma or Don to Don being leaked out early might not ever really want to pick, you know, Netflix as their person they want to host these shows anymore. And if Netflix were again to have a monopoly, then they wouldn't have to worry, right? Because that's the only way that people like that's the only way to distribute the content. So I want you to understand how like significant a monopoly is and how much of a hindrance it is in terms of consumer experience or getting like a better product or service. Because again, what would this monopoly known as Netflix, if they had a monopoly, why would they change it? And, and these other companies also have no option but to go through them. That's why it's better to have many different options, competitive markets that will innovate and try to give a better experience for the consumers because that's what a happy, you know, a healthy system is in capitalism. But it doesn't usually work out like that because their product might be leaked out. So a bunch of other companies that might not even be affiliated with, you know, th this situation might also take a hard look at this and be like, we have trust issues. We don't want to work with you, Netflix, anymore. That, that potentially could happen. Now, once again, Netflix isn't entirely at fault here because obviously it was a post-production company that had this leaked out. And the interview with the supposed leaker kind of dives into this. And like I said, I'll cover it in a moment. But the situation obviously got pretty bad. It, it, it's just it's unfathomable how much money and revenue and all that was potentially lost in the given situation. And it's even funnier in the interview, a brief little comment that the actual leaker says is that arcane season two apparently wasn't as good as season one and i want to be honest with you i haven't seen <laughs> just out of nowhere what does this sudden is that just a random comment for fun or is he trying to diminish the harm that could have been done by leaking arcane season two it's like yeah i leaked it but you know what season two kind of mid season one was still better so it's like you know my leaks didn't really do anything seen arcane season two yet so i'm not gonna really say my personal opinion on it but i have seen a lot of negativity around arcane season two a lot of people say they don't like it it felt rushed or whatever fast paced i don't know i haven't seen it myself so i can't really make a full-blown comment on it but i have seen a lot of negativity around it and if that's indeed the case maybe the leaker really did hint at things to come which is kind of amusing but anyways let's um let's explain the situation so Netflix, Sapino's Discord. There is actual proof of this besides this article. There's literal pictures of the case going on, as you can see here on screen, okay. of what uh, Netflix is trying to do. They're trying to request information, it looks like, from Instagram. This is the same shit that happened with Twitter, remember, right? Companies requesting this personal information, right? Because they want to get to the bottom of this. Well, we're trying to find scapegoats. We're trying to find people to blame and crucify them so that Netflix can be like, you know what? Even though the leaks happened, uh, we did something towards it, and hopefully that'll restore some sort of good faith moving forward for business partners. But also from Discord itself, and um, yeah, th this is getting serious, because this is like continuing on the uh, what we saw earlier this year with the subpoenas that were given to Twitter, for instance, like yep. with anime leaks and stuff, and there was a bunch of Manga different leaks. accounts that were uh, you know, potentially going to face jail time. People were going to get their names and identities checked to potentially face jail time, because, you know, anime companies and stuff were requesting that information from Twitter, which obviously Twitter did offer up. So we don't really know where that's going to go. That can take a long time probably to go somewhere. But at the current moment, though, that same situation happened months ago is now happening with Discord, obviously a different company. But still, this means that um, links in general, people that have used Discord as a safe haven is no longer going to be able to be safe, which that is nothing is safe. There is no privacy. Just because you send messages on Snapchat doesn't mean it's just gone forever. Anything that you post online has a history on it. And if some way, somehow, some kind of crazy thing like this happens, like you think that your group chat is safe on Discord? But you're probably not making that kind of you know, impact, you know, hurting the bottom line of different companies. But if, if that ever happened, leaks like that being organized there, pff, this shit will just go in. A good segment to talk about. So a general evolution of leaks i've noticed in the last few months maybe it's been longer but i've definitely seen it strongly now as of late is that most leaks now come not from let's say 4chan but come from let's say discord i i have definitely noticed that most of the main original leaks where they come out go into these private discords yeah these discords that maybe it's convenient right it's convenient there is a level of anonymity there right despite the fact that you can get subpoenaed and all your information 
you know, it probably can't be handed over, but it's a very convenient place to organize things like this. The affiliate, let's, let's say One Piece or Dragon Ball, you get the point. It starts there, and then they spread out onto, let's say, Twitter, Instagram, mm -hmm. TikTok, you get the point, because you have individuals that are trying to profit off of that. Now, it's not my place to really say, you know, whatever on the situation. All I'm saying is the cold hard facts of what's going on. So basically, you know, Discord has been kind of a safe haven as of late for people to release, let's say, leaked content for anime and manga. And I feel like more or less that is becoming, you know, not possible anymore. Like the walls are coming down and those that have been using Discord to potentially hide behind, you know, anonymy and not be noticed, potentially they might be caught now because... We need a different app. Everyone needs to... Do this over Facebook Messenger? No, that's terrible. Nah, there, again, digital footprints always going to exist. What about Telegram? WhatsApp? Aren't there, like, different apps, those kind of things, where it's also the same thing of, you know, retaining privacy and some level of anonymity? ...of this whole situation with Netflix. This could open the floodgates or the door for investigation of, let's say, manga leaks and other anime leaks if this goes through. And this does happen. So yeah, there is definitely some concern probably for those big leakers. And if they live in a different country that theoretically, let's say, isn't like in the jurisdiction of where Discord is or, you know, all this Netflix, like, for instance, in the States, they at the very least will know their name and they can ask the government facility, like the government office of that certain country to potentially indict them and bring them over to where they could actually face trial. Whatever the case may be and however that goes, the point still stands is that, um... Leakers are um, it's becoming Cooked. even more unsafe. There's definitely been a lot of pushback in the last year. I've covered this topic a lot with different videos, and it seems like it's getting more and more serious as time goes on. And so I'm curious to see where this is going to go, because um, obviously the situation with... The this is going to take forever to unfold, though, right? It could also... It, it definitely... Part of it is a scare tactic of trying to intimidate other people to prevent this, you know, from happening. And maybe this example will be crucified to just set an example out of this, but like, the Twitter shit's gonna take forever. This stuff like, how long uh, will this go for? And how many more leaks will happen before this shit gets handled? The, uh, the leaks that happened in August was pretty freaking bad. So let's get into the interview, and then I'm gonna wrap up this video. So here is the interview. Okay. From Jace Johnson. This is the individual in question that um, Netflix is subpoenaing Discord for to get information on this individual. But he is the man that started this all. The man who broke the internet is a ridiculous title. I know it's all sensationalist and it's clickbaiting, but like, bro, you think a couple shows on Netflix being leaked online is breaking the internet? But you 99% of motherfuckers that use the internet didn't even know this shit happened or did it even impact them. This article was written back in September, so a few months ago. But this, I honestly just read this for the first time earlier this morning. And I feel like a lot of people are probably unaware of this interview that he had. So let's just, let's read it. The internet is full of interesting people. They can be bloggers, stars, ordinary people looking for different information or simple communication. But there okay. are also completely different people who are able to get any information from the most secret places and give it to the people. Hackers. Jace Johnson is the person who was able to make the greatest leak of Netflix products. Yeah, I would probably say one of the biggest leaks that they've ever had. Um, popular magazines and news articles wrote about Jace's actions, but especially for ordinary readers, YNG KKR conducted a brief interview with Jace and asked several questions regarding the activity of a person who was ready to break the internet. Break the Hi, internet. Jace. Hello from Russia. Ha. Huh. For those who don't know you, introduce yourself. My name is Jace for Johnson. I probably butchered that, forgive me. Uh, Jace Johnson. I was responsible for the worst leak in streaming history. <laughs> yeah, this guy is... Based on the way he's positioning himself, labeling himself, branding himself... Yeah, he loves this shit. He, he, he's down to go down as a martyr. He's trying to be immortalized in the internet history. The worst leaker in streaming history. That's right, it was I, Jace 4 Johnson. I leaked Arcane Season 2, Heartstopper Season 3, The Plankton- Bro, this dude probably has like a... Okay, this is a terrible example to make. But you know that school shooters, crazy people that crash out, they have like a manifesto? They have like an ideology? 
They have like a fucking written document of why they did these things. I bet this guy has a fucking manifesto for the greatest and the worst leak in streaming history. Movie, Terminator Zero, Don the Don, Spellbound, and many other shows. Is Jace Johnson your real name, or is it your creative alter ah, ego? alias. Jace responds with saying it is not his real name. I wonder why even put in this middle name for Jace for Johnson. I don't know. It's, it's an alias, but he also had a middle name part of the alias. Let's get down to your activity. What prompts you to start leaking content? A friend of mine worked for a company called Iano. And I somehow got access to their database. Then I leaked those shows and movies on 4chan before posting them on Twitter. That part is very interesting. The wording of a friend of mine, right? Whenever you're online and you're trying to do some such shit, you always frame, you know, yourself as someone else of, oh, uh, not me, but a friend of mine wants to know what's the fastest way to murder and hide a body. A friend of mine wants to do these crazy things, you know? <laughs> so when you say a friend of mine, was that you, bro? Was that you? Iano is a dubbing studio, right? Once again, the post-production, you know, work that Netflix was doing. It is a dubbing studio, right? Yes. And okay. they even wrote magazines for you. Did you expect this or would you like to remain a secret identity? A.K. what this means here, it's kind of poorly worded. Basically, he was talking about there's a lot of news articles and stuff written about Jace Johnson's, you know, leaking and stuff. It's like, how do you feel about people talking about you? You know, did you want to remain private or, you know, are you happy to be known? He responds with, when I leak these shows slash movies on 4chan, I didn't expect it to go viral the way it did. I like to be known. That's why I'm using a fake name, Jace Johnson. You like to be known? You fucking pussy. You're basically just saying that you're the Riddler. You give out your full name and your face, pussy? What do you mean you want to be known? You're hiding behind an alias. You don't want to be known. You want to hide yourself, but also get the credit of being known as the worst leaker in streaming history. Come on now. Listen, I'm not saying leakers are bad or leakers are good. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I'm talking from this hypocritical stance of, oh, I want to be known yet. Dude, you go by a fake name. You don't even show your face. And of course, it's in his best interest because if you leaked us, you know, full information, what do you think is going to happen? So once again, this is very weirdly worded. It must be because of translation from like the Russian interview. But uh, I'm assuming he wanted to be known and he's happy that a lot of people are talking about him with his JJ, name. baby. About suing with Netflix. I saw that you were sent a letter. To I wonder how much time he spent creating this name Jake for Johnson. Jace for Johnson, sorry. Because this guy, there's no way he picked a random name like this. And he wants to be known. Based off of what he's saying so far with the limited amount of conversation, it sounds like a dude who is so desperate for being notorious online as the worst leaker in history of streaming services. Right? So, like, the name Jace Johnson, I'm sure he spent at least two weeks. I'm sure he spent at least two weeks thinking, what is the coolest and the most just... I'm sure there's, like, a deep lore. Right, if you like reposition the letters of the first and the last name with the middle name, somehow it alludes to different things. Like there's gotta be so many, like, you know, uh, what's it called? Gravity Falls, the ciphers at the end. <laughs> I bet it's something similar like this, where there's like 10 layers of different lore that went into, you know, creating this name. Demanding to remove their leaked products. It is because of Arcane, or did you steal from them on a large scale? Will you clean everything up, or will you continue to leak projects to the people in the future? Because of legal reasons, I can't say anything about that, but what I can say is, is that I'll continue to leak more <laughs> movies and shows. I'm currently planning my next big leak. <laughs> Yo, this is a terrorist! <laughs> He's just straight up with the online terrorist, dude! This guy's hilarious. This some this some Joker shit. Hello, Gotham. For every day, the Batman doesn't show his face. I'm going to leak another Netflix show every day. I am subscribed to your Telegram channel, and I have often seen the subscribers demand some kind of leaks from you. Don't you get tired of this? Uh, no, it's probably like, you know, uh, appeases his ego, his, you know, attention. It feels like he's got fans or something. Honestly, I do. People think leaking movies slash shows from a billion-dollar company is easy, but it's not. Obviously, okay. it's not easy. 
Being great and powerful, aren't you afraid to have accounts on- Wait, being great, that is- <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Um, I think that the glazing here by saying being great and powerful is- uh, A good faith way to interpret this is they're intentionally doing it to make Jay say more ridiculous things. You want to hype him up, right? You're not trying to antagonize him. What, what good's that? You want more juicy content out of Jace, right? The more you butter them up and make them feel good about themselves, the more likely they're willing to share more information, right? This man is trying to gas him up. Yeah. This man is really trying to gas up. It's actually smart again. If your goal is to get the most out of the sleeker as possible, make him feel like good, glazing him up like this. I think it's smart. A leaker. Anyways, being great and powerful, aren't you afraid to have accounts on Discord, Telegram, and X because of their insecurity? Or is this a fiction about unsafety? I know what I'm doing. Yeah, the wording also, because again, this is translated in a different way. It could refer to entities of corporations of them being great and powerful. Aren't you scared that these great and powerful corporations will go after you, right? That could be another interpretation of this. I have a plan. This is all in the planning phase, and we're in phase one. Phase two is <laughs> coming. Bro thinks he's me. Bro thinks he's me farming drama videos. Phase 2 is coming. <laughs> he dropping a fucking trailer too. <laughs> Phase 2 is coming, boys. Which projects you've leaked do you particularly <laughs> like? Honestly, because of my job and real life per, uh, personal problems, I've only seen one of my leaks, which is Arcane Season 2. Yeah. Arcane Season 2 is a downgrade from Season 1. Ooh. I haven't seen season two. I don't know if this is true or not, but uh, god damn, he fucking just, he just putting in season two on blast. Okay, thanks for your time. Good luck in the future. Thanks. So, that is the interview. Yeah. Obviously, very brief, quick to the point, but it gives us a little bit of an insight into the leaker's personality. And yeah, and the personality, again, I bet this dude has a manifesto. I bet this is his, like, greatest moment. This is his moment of glory. Being recognized as Chase Johnson, the most notorious and the worst in history of leaking online shows. I bet he loves it. He reveres in it, bro. Like, why would you put yourself through this kind of risk? You understand that you're playing with fire. Not any ordinary fire. You're playing with a fucking magma volcano drop-in. The companies are coming for your ass. What compels a person to do this? It's simple. It's clout chasing. Everyone is so desperate to have a spotlight shown on them because they themselves in real life are nothing. They have no meaningful relationships. They have no accolades or accomplishments. And in order to make them feel good about themselves, to compensate for this insecurity, they go on, on grandiose tirades like this, which is fucking crazy, right? Maybe it's just for the thrill of the game. Some people don't care about clout. Some people just is adrenaline chasing and they have the means to leak something and potentially, you know, that thrill of the chase is what gives them fulfillment. And why they did this in the first place, it comes down to ego. Expected. It's very ego, very clout chasing and, you know... Makes sense. With how the internet is in 2024, it mm -hmm. makes sense that that's what drives people. I mean, let's look at the person in Korea right now, South Korea, that is standing trial and potentially going to be facing a long time in prison. Oh, Johnny Somali. We're going to watch another video soon about that, actually. And yeah. And listen, what Chibi's doing right now, what I'm doing right now, what are we also doing? In a way, it's cloud chasing. We're making content online, putting ourselves out there. And the more, you know, it gets views, the more attention that we get. But I think there's a fundamental difference in creating a community around the content that your audience enjoys versus fucking putting your life at risk, doing these crazy, insane things for internet virality. That's, that's got to be so fucking stupid. I can't even comprehend it. Because of their antics as a content creator and how bad they have been. And they continue to make it a lot worse as time goes on. So when you think about the situation, clout really does 
destroy people. Quell yes, it does. causes people to do things that they normally wouldn't do, but thanks to the, the adrenaline rush and the drive to always mm-hmm. be relevant and talked about, it causes people to do absolutely insane things in their That's right. We're all sinners. We deserve attention. Sorry, not deserve. We desperately crave attention. And to have been recognized by a bigger audience, more people, right? It's the same thing with random rage pit accounts, how Twitter accounts treat this shit as a full-time job to fucking just collect and farm random internet upvotes. Reddit as well. Random people just commenting so much, moderating, you know, power tripping, trying to get karma, right? The length at which mankind will go in order to get some sort of recognition from other people, because at the end of the day, we're stupid monkeys, social creatures that yearns for other people's affirmations. It only, you know, causes this kind of mental illness where people are willing to fucking put their life on the line for internet fame. Only for them to be forgotten about in like two weeks. Or life. So, in this case, it seems like that's more or less the case. That the leaker decided to play very dangerous and, you know, potentially, fr- uh, potentially throw their life away just to, like, behind bars. Just to be able to get a, you know, brief time period of clout and ego. And again, just remember how ridiculous it is. because. This fame that they think that they've gotten, they think that they're put in the Hall of Fame. They think that they will be put into like textbooks in, I don't know, American fucking schools or social studies as recognizable figures. Like, no, brother. This is stupid internet drama. You will be forgotten about in a week or two. Go boost. That's more or less what it looks like. Once again, you know, I'm curious to see where this is going to go, but uh, yeah, wanted to give an update on the whole situation. All right. Thank you, Chibi. That's pretty much it. Just ridiculous situation of Jace Johnson, the one who caused the greatest leak in online history. And to be fair, this scale of a leak from Netflix has never been done before. So, yeah, I I would say that the magnitude at which this leak was done, it is true. But again, it's just like... Come on, bro. You, you, you're putting your life on the line like this. This is such dangerous stuff that you're playing around with. Come on, bro. Spartan up.